Hey guys, Mortiman here, bringing you a video about the top 5 most interesting things about Huckleberry Finn. Let's get right into it. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. Number 1. Besides that horrible joke of an intro, Finn's name is a reference to Huckleberry Finn, a fictional character by an American author, Mark Twan, who travels down the Mississippi River on a raft. This was confirmed in the unusual Easter eggs in episodes 1 and 2, episode of the official community video series, so it wasn't such a bad joke. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. Ain't sexier. Number two. Finn is pansexual, as he explains to Sean in episode three. I see people, not gender. Power to you, my brother. I included this fact because I see a lot of people only labeling Finn as gay, and I don't want to be that guy to be super specific, but here I am. Saying Finn doesn't only like guys, but he is romantically or emotionally attracted towards people regardless of their sex or gender identity. You know I'm clean? You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard hotshot? Cassidy's sister? Due to their close relationship, equal height, similar facial structure, Finn and Cassidy were theorized by some to be siblings and possibly twins, fitting into the game's recurring thing of family bonds. This theory was proven incorrect in episode 3, where Finn is revealed to only have three older brothers. Did you see Finn? He was with Daniel, but now I can't find him. Well, you didn't see anybody out there. But we better go now. Figures Daniel is with him. Just tell Finn I want to talk. Thanks much. Later. Sean, hold up. Wait a sec. Why? We have to stop them. Let's figure out a plan first. We don't have time for that shit. Finn loves chaos. According to the 2018 casting sheet for Finn's biography, it said that Finn thrives in chaos since birth. Even as a kid, nothing made him laugh like messing around with the Order. Which I feel like was especially shown when he tries to convince everyone to let Daniel help him steal from Mero's safe. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah. You heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Number five, Finn has great people skills. On the same 2018 casting sheet, requirements were written for the voice actor, such as, we are looking for a voice actor that won't sound like the usual voices you'd find in urban environments or traditional teenager settings. Finn's voice needs to sound like a real outcast living in the margin of society, abusing his charisma and people skills, which is also evident since he is Meryl's favorite worker. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which character I should do next. This was a very quick video, and uh, what did I miss? Who should I do next? And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey guys, Mortiman here bringing you a video about the top five most interesting things about Sean. Let's get right into it. Number one. 